This is Heart Rhythm TV. We are coming to you live after the sessions of day one in San Francisco, and we've got the full squad here, Clint, Julie, Janet, Kamala, and Dan, who was missing Dan. last year. So welcome, Dan, and it's really exciting for us all to be together. Apparently, the attendance has been great. We're almost back. Nearly as much yep. as yeah, we insane. did in 2019. Yeah, absolutely. Good energy, fantastic energy. Yeah, everyone I've run into has been ecstatic about seeing each other again in real life, so. And we're realizing the value of the personal interactions, hanging out with the colleagues, just seeing people, people that have green colors, can you can hug. <laughs> um, and I think the vaccine wristbands have been challenging yeah. for some, but <laughs> we're all in and we're all taking the right precautions. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. So Dan, you were cruising around today a little bit. You missed last year. What did you see today? Well, I'm going to start off by thanking my wife for doing diaper and bottle duty. <laughs> it's huge. I'll be back soon. Thank you, honey. Um, so I really enjoyed um, Marshall Linsky and Zeppenfeld's VT session. And, you know, it started off with Jeff Winterfeld kind of moving from the beginning of VT ablation to high resolution mapping, talking a bit about sinus rhythm, D cell zones, Josh Moss talking about the importance of induction and clinical VT. And then what really struck me was Andre Davila going over these wavefront discon discontinuity lines, these mm -hmm. waddles, and understanding these lines. And he even went as far to make the provocative statement as you can ablate focally within these areas, functionally homogenize, homogenize the scar, and then not induce before or after in same day discharge, which I thought was very provocative and honestly you know, makes me think a lot about my own practice. That's really impressive, you yeah. know, very good. And Rod, uh, talk more about your TRAP AF. Well, we had a late-breaking featured clinical study that today was all about registries. Mm -hmm. yep. But Gaurav Upadhyay, one of my partners, friends, and colleagues presented TRAP AF, which was us trying to look at transcutaneous tragus stimulation to prevent post-operative AFib. Mm. And we actually did a randomized trial at the University of Chicago sham controlled, mm -hmm. really optimistic given what Sonny Poe and Stavros Stavrakis yeah. have shown before, and we actually had a negative outcome. There was no difference at all with tragus stimulation, creating vagal stimulation to reduce postoperative AF. Oh, so sometimes negative trials are still yeah. very important. Absolutely. Um, not what we expected, but it's the, it's the science. Absolutely. 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 And let's see, uh, Clint, um, how was your day? It was great. Yeah, like everyone said, really good to be back. Um, saw a lot of people that we missed last time, and uh, you know the vibe at HRS is just hard to compete with. I think I spent some time at the late breakers too, and some of the registry stuff. Um, we saw some some conduction disease featured today um, in the hypertension uh, mm -hmm. s uh, sprint population study. John Sapp was the commentary on that one, and he gave my favorite quote today, which was, the conduction disease is cool again. <laughs> and right after that, <laughs> he, uh, he led into, um, or the next trial was uh, conduction system pacing versus by V. And that was more of yeah. a registry yeah. looking at exactly. the two. Yeah, registry. And so um, their endpoint was more a combined endpoint of mortality versus uh, or, and a heart failure hospitalization. Mm -hmm. It was very positive. It was on treatment analysis, so you have to take it with a grain of salt, but you know, another win for conduction system pacing and really exciting to watch where that's going, I think. And Clint is our fellow representative. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everything makes a lot more sense to you now that you have it's a, a year of yeah. your belt. <laughs> yeah, it's a big right. difference. <laughs> Julie, what did you see today? Um, I went to some great uh, lead extraction sessions. I'm kind of a device guru, or geek, I should say. Um, so really enjoyed some talks from Bruce Wilkoff and yes. Chuck Love, Jeannie Poole, Roy John, um, talking about management of SVC tears and uh, tricuspid valve issues, yes. which were great. And I think one of the highlights for today was the plenary session that I literally oh, just gosh. came back from. Um, I don't know if anybody caught that, but just amazing from Stephen Robbins. What a, what a very dynamic uh, speaker talking about diversity and inclusion, or he, although he said that inclusion and diversity, he actually put it in reverse order, stating it's so important to have that inclusion piece in place first, mm -hmm. because you have to have that in place before the diversity can, can feed in. So um, told Janet, a very interesting personal story at the and end. And Jane and I yeah. just came from that planner yeah, as well. What did you take away from that? You know, what's so interesting is that he boiled diversity and inclusion down to one word, and that word was 
care or caring, yep. just caring about your other human beings. And I thought that was just so powerful. Absolutely. About not overcomplicating it, yeah. just caring. Just care. And he, would, he was also, what was left an impression on me was that when you have to process new things, it takes more energy. Oh, yeah. And the brain is lazy, and that's why sometimes we want to go with what's comfortable, what's familiar, rather than embracing change, what's yes. strange, and something that's different from us. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I think we definitely embody some diversity here at Heart Rhythm TV, so hopefully we're leading the way yeah. as well. That's right. Kamala, what did you see today? No, oh, that was last a words. great last words are <laughs> be a human, be a good human, along with being an exceptional innovation person and uh, technician or technologist in the lab. Use the technology by being a human. Tie it all. So tomorrow we have late breakers. We're going to mm -hmm. be covering those extensively with the whole staff, the whole reporters. And I'll be presenting a cardio neural ablation registry, which mm -hmm. is a totally Sonic. new nice. type of procedure. So we've got late breaking innovations tomorrow and deeper into sessions day two. Yeah, can I also put a plug in for the um, Allies? We have a great session tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Um, in room 155 on demystifying research. So come mm. join the group and learn more about how you can uh, write abstracts and publish. So we hope to see you there. Well, it's good to be back together. So from San Francisco, day one, HRS 2022, that's a wrap for day one.